Hello, I am Dr. Suchir Moitro, Consultant ENT Surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Salt Lake. Today, I am going to talk about ear discharge, ear pain or ear infections. We can classify ear infections as an acute infection or a chronic infection. Chronic infections are infections which is occurring either recurrently or persisting for more than a few months. Acute infections that we see in common clinical plaque practice are usually secondary to cough and cold called acute otitis media. They are usually associated with pain, hearing loss, temporary hearing loss and discharge. These things frequently get corrected after treatment with antibiotics and sometimes ear drops. Infection of the outer canal, the canal of the ear can also occur and uh, which has a slightly higher incidence during monsoon months because of this fungal infections. Chronic infections or recurrent infections are usually due to associated with a perforated eardrum. We call it chronic uh, otitis media, chronic suppurative otitis media if there's a discharge. The perforation of the eardrum we can classify again into two types. One is a safe kind of disease where there is associated with a just a perforation and a hearing loss, but this needs to be corrected. If it's causing a recurrent ear problem and hearing loss, then a surgery may be required. And for that, you may need to see your ENT surgeon who will advise accordingly. The ear needs to be kept very dry. No water should enter. Otherwise, you will suffer from a discharging ear. The other kind of discharging ear that we see uh, associated with the perforation is something called cholesteatoma, which is a kind of skin cells which tends to grow inside the bone behind the eardrum. Cholesteatoma has a property of eroding bone. The entire bone of the ear can be eroded by the cholesteatoma and it can cause numerous complications like infection going into the brain, uh, the infections into the nerve of the face causing paralysis of the facial muscles, dizziness when it erodes into the balancing system and pus collections anywhere and everywhere around the brain and things like that. And these complications can very often be very life threatening. So cholesteatoma, if it is at all there, it has to be seen by an ENT surgeon and it needs a surgery to correct it. There is no medical treatment for cholesteatoma. Sometime or other, it is going to cause a complication. So it's better to get a ear checked by the surgeon and managed accordingly. Other causes of common causes of ear discharge are usually associated with pain, uh, which can be secondary to recurrent cleaning of the ear causing damage to the skin and infection of the outer skin, uh, outer canal, and this is called otitis externa. So these would be just the very short discussion on the ear discharge. So if you have any ear discharge and pain, it is prudent to see a ENT doctor as soon as possible to at least get it diagnosed and treated in an efficient way. Thank you. Thank you.